To simplify reconciliation of your bank statement with items recorded in ProCare, use the Import Statement feature. Before you begin, you must download a statement from your bank in OFX, QFX, or QIF format, or produce a statement in one of those formats using a third-party financial tool like QuickBooks. You'll also need to know the beginning and ending balances from your statement. Now I'm at the main screen of the Expenses and Ledger module, and I'll go to Functions and choose Reconcile Bank Accounts. From here, I'll select the account I want to reconcile, and then just confirm the statement ending date and the beginning balance, which are going to be carried forward from my previous reconciliation. And then I do need to enter the ending balance from my current statement. If I had any bank fees or interest that appeared on this statement, I could enter those here. In this case, I'll just click Next. And I'm going to move this window over a little bit to make room for the import. You'll notice that right now I don't have any items marked as cleared. None of these items have been checked yet. And now we're going to go ahead and import my statement. And I'm going to browse on my computer to the place my statement is located, select it, and choose Open. Now in this case I get a message telling me that two of the 13 imported transactions could not be found. Now what that means is it tries to make a match against all the items that you've entered in ProCare. And if it finds some items that it's not sure of, it's going to leave those for you to manually reconcile. So basically this means two items it's not quite sure about. I'll say OK. It leaves those two items for me on a little imported transactions window. And I'm going to move that over here to the side of the screen. Now notice under my deposits tab, uh, three of the items have already been marked as cleared. That happened automatically during the import. Now on the right now, I just have these two items that I need to manually reconcile. So when I click on one, if there are any possible matches over on the left, they'll be highlighted. But you'll notice nothing's highlighted on the screen right now. That's because I'm on the Deposits tab, and the item I'm trying to reconcile is a point-of-sale transaction, most likely something I did with my debit card. That would generally appear under the Checks tab, so I'll go there. And look, it has one highlighted for me as a potential match. And I just need to confirm, let's look at the amount, 21205, that's the same. In fact, it's, it looks like the same vendor. And that one I'm going to say, yes, that's a match. And that one has cleared the bank. So I'm going to mark that one as cleared. And mark it as cleared on my import window as well. So I have one more to do. I'll choose that one. And then I'll scroll up and down to see if it has any suggested matches for me. In fact, it does. Here's one that it thinks might be a match. We'll look at the amount. That's the same, written to the same person, and the same check number. So again, I'm going to say that that one has also cleared. I'll check both of those off. And so now at the bottom of the screen, uh, it shows my beginning balance, uh, what's cleared, my ending balance, and a difference of zero, which is perfect. So I can now go ahead and permanently reconcile these items if I would like to. Now, let's say you had a case where on this imported window there was an item showing that you couldn't find. If that were the case, most likely it's because you haven't yet entered that item into ProCare. So what you could do then would be to save and exit so you can get back to where you were before. Go make the entry in ProCare. Post it as a check to a vendor or a journal entry or whatever you need to do. Then come back to the reconciliation screen. Do the import again and you'll then have this window come up and then you should be able to find a match. And that's all there is to using the import feature to help simplify the reconciliation process.